Good morning students. Today we are going to learn a new grammar topic that is use of has, have and had. This is your worksheet 6.3 and as informed earlier the worksheet number may vary in your book because I am using my old edition of book whereas you might be having your new edition. So even if there is change in the worksheet number, you don't worry and you don't be confused because the content is same, only the numbers may be different. Okay? So let's start today's class. We have already learned about the nouns and the pronouns. Now, today in this class, we are going to learn about the new helping verb just like we learnt in the last topic is, am, are, was and where just like them we have new members in this family that is has, have and had. Okay? Now this has, have and had this shows position. You know the meaning of position? Position means having something, owning something. For example, if I ask you, how many pencils do you have? What will you answer? You will answer, I have two pencils. That means you are the owner of two pencils. Understood? So in this way, the use of has and had is also same. The only difference between has, have and had is has and have has and have is used with present, had is used with past, tense, tense means time, has and have is used with present time and had is used with past time, understood? So now we will learn how to use and where to use has and have and where to use had. So first of all, I'll teach you how to use or where to use has and have. Okay? First, we will learn where to use has and have. Has is used with singular with singular noun or pronoun. Singular noun or pronoun. For example, Ravi. Ravi is a noun. Ravi has one box. So here Ravi is singular. So we have used here has. Understood? Again, I said that with singular noun and pronoun both we use has. So here pronoun, let's say she or he. She or he, both are singular, has one box. <clears throat> okay, so with singular noun we have used has. With singular pronoun also we have used has <coughs> but you will say <coughs> that I I is also single but why do we use have okay when we say I have two pencils I have three pencils three boxes whatever whatever uh, position we have we use have with I and you now this is an exception this is an exception which says that with I and you both being singular both are singular but then also what do we use we use have so in a way we can say that have is used with <coughs> have is used with plural noun or pronoun but with I and you also we use have 
this is an exception we don't say i has one box i has or you has three boxes whatever we never do that we always use have with i and you also clear so when we make a sentence we'll make a sentence in this way i have three pencils or also you have three pencils with i and you both we will use have clear now we will move to use of had okay now we will move to use of had now what is that in use of had there is no exception there is no change wherever and everywhere if the sentence is in past time if it is talking about past action or past time we will use had so for example with all with singular as well as plural noun or pronoun if it is talking about past if it is talking about past we will use had for example we had match yesterday so this sentence clearly shows that we are talking about past time so even if i am using plural pronoun here we have i will use had because it is talking about past is this clear so we can take more examples <clears throat> let's say taking singular i had fever last week so here i had i is the singular but then also we will use had so use of had does not change with the singular or a plural noun or a pronoun it will remain same everywhere if the sentence is talking about past clear now we'll come to the book worksheet let's first read the examples which is given in your book aditya has a guitar so this is talking about present that now aditya is having a guitar pooja and palak have a brother now both pooja and palak they are plural so we have used here have rama has a headache that means it is talking about now that rama now is having headache piku had a sandwich in the morning so piku he has already completed his sandwich so it is talking about past in the morning so had viru had an accident they have an exam tomorrow now there's a table which is shown here as you can see the table the first column they have given the pronouns with i in present we use have if we have to say no that is in negative sense it will say we will use do not have and if it is talking about past we will use had and if in past we have to answer in negative we will use did not have so this table shows when we have to talk about something positive when we are having something and this table shows when we are not having that so when we have to use negative we will use does do not have and in past we will use did not have okay with we also have do not have in past had in past if we have to say no did not have you present have present to say no do not have had did not have he she it all are singular has does not have had did not have they have do not have had did not 
have. So this table shows the positive sense also, negative sense also. When we have something, we will use simply have and has. When we do not have, we will say do not have or do not or does not have. When it is has. Okay, this I can show you on my board. <coughs> Where to use do not have or does not have. Where to use these two. Now if I say Ram has a guitar. Ram has a guitar. This if I have to use in a negative sense, how will I write? Ram does not, this has will change into does not have a guitar. Understood? If I say Ram and Shyam have a guitar. This will change into when we are using have in negative sense. Ram and Shyam did not have guitar. So see the changes here. This have has changed into did not have and has if it is has here then that will change into does not have understood similarly if I use here had Ram and Sham had a guitar this will change into Ram and Sham this had will change into did not again have a guitar. So what you have to notice here is that in negative sentences it always changes into have. Do, does and did that depends on the use of has and has, have and had. But this have remains same in all the negative sentences. Okay, this is very clearly given in the table of your worksheet which you need to learn and which I have already explained. So let's do the exercises now. Fill in the blanks with has, have or had. Okay, so exercise A. We dash a party today. So, we can use here have also or we can use here had also. Because we don't know if today is over or not. So, we can use both here. Have or had. And why have or had? Because we is plural. Second is, I dash two pencils. I have two pencils. Okay. Now, here again. We may use had also because it is not stated clearly that I had two pencils yesterday, today or tomorrow. It is not stated clearly. So we can use had also. But now I will write only have. She had. Now I said she, uh, it is given here last week. So we will write she had fever last week. Number four. He has. He has decided to swim. Okay. We can write here had also but because it is not stated clearly that this action is in past or present, it is preferable to use has. Okay. They dash breakfast at 7 o'clock. They have breakfast at 7 o'clock or we can write 
they had also but again here it is not mentioned that it is talking about past so we will prefer to write have clear so this is the end of your exercise a exercise b i am going to give you as homework you will do it in your book answers you can match from the worksheet which will be uploaded in the campus care okay so hope to meet you soon in my next video keep watching keep studying and take care okay